You gonna fly this, Paul? Yes. Okay. What airplane are you gonna fly? What's my plane? <laughs> Which one are you gonna fly? You gonna fly this one? Apparently not. Huh. Hi there. I'm Joshua Finn from J and H Aerospace. This is a Gillows Lancer. Uh, I'm sure if you've been around model airplanes any time at all in hobby shops, you've seen one of these kits. We made some modifications to it, just very slight ones, added a proper nose block assembly, used good quality rubber, uh, added a dethermalizer to it so that you can get it to come down out of thermals. Because yes, these cans can be made to fly well enough that you can lose them. Has removable landing gear, all the goodies uh, stores up quite nicely. I have the wing keyed for positive location. Same thing with my horizontal tail. So we should be able to get good performance. Now my center of gravity is a little bit um, aft of where it's shown on the plan. So it balances right here at the wing trailing edge. So we'll see how that goes. But I have not, I have not even test glided this airplane, so we're about to see the whole shebang of it. So, wow, that was not encouraging at all. Let's try one more time. Wow, no. Talk no. us through what would be. So what you so the the issue is we know this is a good CG, roughly the airplane should be stalling at this point. So if it's diving in, the airplane needs something to push the tail down. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a shim under the stab here, and we're going to use it to correct that. So. Wherever that one went, actually that's kind of, let's use something a little wider here. I have a apparently very happy cat. Alright, so hopefully this will make it, I mean we're probably going to need more. Um, but this will get us started. Come on, lock in. There we go. Less of a dive, but like I said, I figured we would need more. The annoying thing is this lifts the keys, the alignment keys, away from the tail, or from the fuselage, I should say. So now I'm going to have some somewhat loose um, fin alignment there, so that part will be fun. So, get the nose block. Back on, let's try again. Better. I may be about right for this airplane because this this airplane has a terrible airfoil, so don't expect too much in the glide. That's probably about right. At this point, we can start applying power. By the way, you can check out my 40-year-old flight box here. And it has a, uh, a torque meter built in. I think this is slightly below where its torque curve operates. All right, so we're just gonna crank in a little more than a single row of knots, and we'll see what that gives us. Now, I have not put in any down or side thrust, so I'm expecting this airplane to 
need all of those things. I really should have built those adjustments in, but I didn't because I was in a hurry. Now I will mention, if you notice my stab is tilted a little bit, that, so that should give us a right turn in the glide. Um, that was accidental, but it's I, it was going to be in there eventually. Alright, so we've got the model wound up, so let's see what it does. A little bit of a right turn. Interesting. All right, so uh, interestingly, in spite of not having any right thrust, the airplane has a natural right turn. I'm not entirely, I think it may just be the stab tilt. I did notice a little bit of stalling uh, later in the flight. I don't know what, what's up with that. It may just be that terrible airfoil kicking in. What I'm going to do, though, is I want to tighten up my right turn a little because it is very 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 wide so I'm just cutting a very very thin sliver of balsa and I'm going to glue that in here so that we can have a little bit tighter more positive right turn under power so I put that on the left side to bend the uh, nose block around to the to the right so let's let's do this again we're gonna crank in a little more turns should be safe to do that Not a whole lot more. Okay, that was a lot more turns, but it'll be okay. Just send it. Right. You notice I'm not using a crocket hook or anything up front. Um, just not enough room in the nose of this one to, to do all that. Go back in there. All right, here it goes. Well, that looked about right. So that looked really nice. Um, not a super long flight, but uh, it, it flies nicely. Um, definitely flies like it's heavy and has a bad airfoil, but otherwise looking pretty good. Uh, I should mention uh, one of the things is you're adding right thrust to get that turn going, uh, which is where we want it to be. You do have to notice the wing, this right inner panel is twisted slightly to give me some wash in. So that holds this wing up. So if it's twisted this direction, so that out here I'm bent up like that, that produces lift to push me around the other way. I think I may have a little bit of a right rudder offset, which is influencing some of the right turn in the glide, plus I've got that stab tilt. Both wing tips are washed out, so they're twisted to a lower angle, um, and that makes a big difference in, in making the airplane more stable. My first one of these, well, it was the uh, Javelin, not the Lancer, uh, which is the one without the cabin, otherwise basically the same airplane. Um, I had wash in in the tips, and it would uh, when it whenever it would stall, it would roll over. So yeah, don't do that. All right, here it goes.
was a pretty nice flight. Uh, the only thing is that we saw a little bit of stalling under power. So I'm going to add a little bit of down thrust to get rid of that. And um, I will say this airplane is trimming out surprisingly easily. It is not a performance machine uh, by any means, uh, but it is a very nice, reliable flyer. In terms of flight performance, I will say it's a lot of work to get the flight times you're getting. So, forgive me being a little cynical there. Um, but if you're looking for a nice, pretty endurance ship, uh, it does have that allure for sure. And by the way, what I'm doing here is just dealing with the fact that I didn't do the greatest job of finishing my nose opening. So these shims are going everywhere. That should give me about what I want. So. Okay, so what we're seeing, um, first of all, that was 46 seconds, not a bad flight. Uh, looked very nice other than that stall at the beginning. The, the way we're going to get rid of that stall in the initial climb is we're going to take out a little bit of the stab incidents. And we're going to put some lead back in its place. Because the airplane, I think its CG is actually forward of optimum. What I'm going to do is take out a fair amount of that incidence and then a little piece of lead right there. Maybe I will. I hate adding tail weight to airplanes, I really do. But now we need to check our glide. Needs more. Definitely needs more. possible that rearmost rubber motor location they designed this thing for would be the best bet. Better. Let's see what it does.
and DT works. Thunk. All right, um, I think we're gonna stop there for the night. Uh, nice flying airplane, obviously. I mean, it looks cute in the air, it does its thing. Um, not the greatest performer, and I'll be honest, one way to get a big leap in performance would be to switch to a 7-inch uh, propeller. We've got some on our website that, uh, that would go very nicely on this airplane. Uh, also, scrape down the propeller, and then you can get rid of that weight back there. And then go to uh, some lightweight wooden wheels. You can save, uh, I think, probably close to 4 grams just on those wheels. 3 grams? I think it's 3 grams. They're heavy, I know that. Um, so that would uh, make the, the plane fly significantly better right there. Uh, I do notice the airplane doing a little bit of wallowing under power, and I'm not sure entirely how to get rid of that. I think some of it is just the fact that the airfoil out at the wingtips in particular is really poor, so the wingtips are struggling and there's flow separation going on and so on. Uh, Glide, of course, is, <laughs> is not great but uh, these never were known for gliding real well. The Gillow's Arrow, which is the next one up in this series, you know, it's the top of the series, I guess you'd say, uh, that one glides quite well. So we'll be doing that eventually. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the flying of the Gillow's Lancer, and uh, we'll put up some flights from the postal contest here uh, when the postal contest happens. So uh, we'll see you later. Hi, I'm Josh Finn. This is Hope. We are J&H Aerospace. If you like this video, hit the like button. Also, how about subscribe to our channel and check out jhaerospace.com for new free flight products and all of the tooling that you'll need to build them. Thanks for watching.